Actually, hey guys, my name is Ashley. I am the founder of Cannabis Nursing School, and I wanted to take some time to share some information that I shared within the Highline Tribe. And I decided to put it on YouTube because honestly, I'm just tired of seeing this mistake that nurses make all the time. So here's the scenario. You are a burned out nurse. You're tired of working at the bedside. You've had enough of what is going on. You don't feel inspired. You don't feel in, you don't feel creative. Like it's just things just aren't really working for you right now. And so you're trying to find a side hustle. You're trying to find something to do in the entrepreneurial space. And you may or may not be interested in cannabis medicine. Um, and that's okay. This is to help you too. Um, at the end of the day, launching a product is launching a product, right? And so there are phases to it. And what I find all the time is that people are so desperate to um, like create something and then sell it and hope that they make their money back that they don't take into consideration that there is a process to a product launch. So what makes me knowledgeable? Well, I've launched quite a few things, um, books in my personal career. I'm right now working on launching the cannabis nursing school. And so, um, and I also have background brown in project management. And so there are some things that I just know that come along with launching something new and helping it to integrate in a way where people um, accept it as a viable option. And so I wanted to share just a few of the steps with you here today. Um, hopefully this kind of makes things a little bit more clear for you as you're trying to um, you know, do your product launches. And I just wanna be clear and say, and I'm sorry if this offends anybody, but just because your website started today, just because you hit publish on your website doesn't mean that you actually launched anything. Um, I'm sorry to be the bearer of bad news and let you know that, but it, it just is what it is. Um, generally, you wanna give yourself 30 days plus for a launch strategy. You want to have people in place. If you're doing everything, then you probably need more time. But if you have people to help support you, if you have a team, a marketing team, if you have, um, I don't know, all the people involved, the um, social media team, whatever, um, you want to make sure that they're in line with what that launch plan looks like. And you, as the owner, operator, CEO, you are responsible for making sure that everybody feels inspired to, to follow through. And see, and here's the thing, when you're, um, or especially when you're in the early phases, even if you have somebody helping you, they are not your employee. They actually can do things on their own terms. They're, they're, they're running their own business, right? And so you don't really have control over how effective or how efficient or um, how much cost savings you get and all those things. So you kind of have to work at making sure that everybody is on the same page. So some considerations for a successful launch. What are your key performance indicators? Uh, what metrics will make your launch successful? So if I sold 10 books today, will I make my return on investment? Will I, um, you know, will I consider that successful, right? But in some people's minds, selling a thousand books is, is successful. Or is it about the revenue? Is a revenue stream what makes it successful? Or is it about, I don't know, um, how many people click on your website, how many email addresses you collect, right? Like what are the metrics that makes it successful? And it, it's something different for everybody because everything has a specific intention. So is this product a lead magnet? Is this product, um, you know, for profit? Is this product to secure yourself as a brand in a specific space? Like you have to think about all those things as you're developing your key performance indicators. Um, the next piece is timeline implementation. There are phases to the timeline. It's not just the launch day. I think this is the part that kind of grinds my gears the most. Um, there's pre-launch phase, there's soft launch phase, and then there's the actual launch phase and post-launch phase. I won't spend a ton of time on describing each of them, but your pre-launch phase is everything leading up to your soft launch, right? Like so. This is letting everybody know that you're going to launch something. Your soft launch is picking people to test out or to purchase. They're usually in your sphere of influence, people that trust you already, that support you, and are probably your cheerleaders already. That's your soft launch. 
Your launch phase can be one to two weeks, but that's when you put it out there to the masses and you push hard. You let every single person that you know, every person that you touch, and you're probably out networking. Like you should have things booked. You should have events booked. You should be posting three, four, five times a day during launch phase to let people know that this thing exists. And the most important piece is the sustainability plan. How are you going to sustain traction of the excitement post Post your launch, sorry guys, post your launch, right? Because the sustainability is where the actual money is. And to be honest with you, everything leading up is to kind of create foundation. But at the end of the day is post-launch, what are you doing to, to continue the momentum to um, maintain your business? The next thing I wanna talk about is proof of concept. Do the people you're selling to want what you are giving? You may think you want what you're giving. We spend a lot of time in the Highline Tribe discussing different perspectives of, of um, the way that what you're offering is perceived. And a lot of times we want to create something because we have passion, we have drive, but your audience doesn't necessarily want what you got to give. How do you test that? It's called proof of concept. What is your minimal viable product? MVP, focus on that. So a lot of times, you know, people want to start e-commerce stores and they have a ton of products in, in the works. This is a mistake that I made very early on because I just have a creative mind. And I know a lot of nurses are like me and want to be creative in that way. And they feel inspired to do stuff and create stuff. But what is the one thing that makes that people actually say they want? And how can we focus on that? Right. So if somebody comes to your e-commerce store and they buy a purse, and there's a particular style of purse or something that kind of catches a buzz or something like that, then focus on that and sell that. And then when people love that, they'll come back to see what else you have to give, right? And then maybe if you've kind of gotten the momentum and the traction and all the things around the one thing, then you can move on to the next thing to build up the momentum and the traction around that. And you can continuously be launching stuff to create the newness effect, right? So that's just something to think about. So, I mean, I made it very, very condensed. I, I explained it to you in a few seconds, but there's a lot here for you to kind of take and play with and do some research on as you are beginning to launch your product. But at the end of the day, um, this, these are things that I help the tribe with um, conceptualizing. Um, there are phases that, to going through the becoming an entrepreneur, a true entrepreneur. There are things that you just need to understand about the climate by which you are operating within. So the thing that makes me special specifically is that I am well versed in nursing as a as a um, specialty. I also understand nursing from a corporate systematic perspective. I'm also very clear on the cannabis industry and the and the various ways that we can insert ourselves. And then I also have a very clear knowledge base on entrepreneurship, um, how to make money in this space. And so people who do choose to join the tribe generally have really, really big ideas and they need help paring them down and making them actionable. And that's what I help people do. I'm here to help you achieve your goals and I'm here to help you make things a little bit clearer so that way you are, are successful. And for those of you who have been in my space, space, have dealt with me in the past, you all know that is imperative, in my opinion, for you to be successful. And if you're here today listening to that this, then I do recommend that you reach out to the cannabisnursingschool.com. If you have questions, I'll be happy to set up a call, a call with you. You can email me at cannabis, www.cannabisnursingschool at mm, cannabisnursingschool at gmail.com. If you can't find me, find me on Instagram. Y'all can message me. Instagram, I'm at Cannabis Nursing Solutions um, because I just really forgot my email address. Don't judge me, yo. I got a lot of things going for me, but my memory ain't, ain't it. Anyway, talk to y'all soon. Um, I hope this was helpful for anybody who was planning to launch in the next 30 days. I hope this helped course correct some things for you. Um, if you know somebody who's trying to launch something and they're just kind of like, I open my website. You tell them about that. Tell them about this video. Share it with them. I appreciate it because I really am just tired of seeing it. So talk to y'all soon.